YouTube family, what's good? It's your boy Enrico the Barber and today we are back with yet another video. Today we have something really different, something super exciting. So today we hosted our second barbering workshop. In this video we put together just a few short clips of us um, throughout the entire workshop. Please come through to the next one and I hope you guys definitely enjoy the content. If you are new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Most importantly, hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time that we do drop a video. And most importantly, interact with us, comment, let me know how you feel about the content. Like I said, it is your boy Enrico the Barber. Today we are doing something different. We have the barbering workshop. Let's go. Just gonna be cutting the top down on the number two. And then we're gonna basically be fading it up from the blade. We set it in just here, just above the eyebrow. And we're gonna make sure that it's e our first guideline is even and consistent on the back, um, at the back as well as the other side. So as you can see, now we're just going ahead and we're debulking. So I'm not too shy um, with creating harsh guidelines. Because of this specific head texture, it is a bit easier, or I find it a bit easier to, to fade out if there is any harsh guidelines that are left behind. Once you are comfortable and you feel that there's no more hair coming off, you can adjust your level once again. And it's much easier for me to, to do that specific step using this clipper because as you can see it has its own fading system already set in place for you so it cuts down a whole lot of uh, time uh, working your fade as well. Two guard lever close. Okay well I'm gonna start with my lever open. Basically this part is simple, just going ahead and getting rid of the bulk amount of air at the top. Make sure that you cut in all directions, go over the same place a few times because you want to make sure that you get it nice and even. Starting off in the center. Another thing when doing the blade fade, what I like to do is when I'm halfway through, I don't know if it's just me personally, but I feel like the blades get blunt very quickly. So when I'm halfway through the cut, or well, debulking with the blade, what I do is I just switch blades. Maybe, yeah, switch blades, but it could possibly be the blades that I am using. But also just because of personal preference, I prefer to switch the blade once I'm halfway through um, through debulking. Basically, you're just gonna apply it, and you'll notice you get these small brushes with your when you buy your clipper. I usually give it with your clipper as if it's a. Uh, this is basically supposed to be used to clean your clipper, but this is this is what we make use of it for. So as you can see, I'm still I'm still brushing the dye through his hair because I want it to look as if it's pasted on. I still want it to look natural. I want it to blend in with his real hair. Everything good, sir. But it's off the shoe shot again. 
going to do is go explain the simple way how to move up a tree without any hard work guidelines or anything. I found it interesting to learn something about how he goes about the process of trying to move up a tree. What kind of how to cut waves into a tree? Like even in his play, there's waves. Like when I got the wave and I play the music, he's doing this. So I prefer washing a client's hair before doing it. Then the hair is wet. But now I invested into one of these compressor, compressors by uh, water sprays. Can start over there by connecting the sides first. So we're just gonna have a slight slant with it. See, but I don't. I, when I when I use the scissors, no, I never go past my knuckles. I just keep it there. And now I'm standing on the side. I can see where I need to be, where I need to cut. See, because the side is cut already. And I can I can just flip this head down here. My guidelines. When fighting a haircut, you're fading, you're fading your fade into the silhouette, you're fading. Connected to the bottom. Okay, so now you, you're thinking to yourself, uh, although I know all these are the same length. This is a pamper door type of, we don't wanna put some put uh, a lot of fading in. You see, so we want to keep the fading minimum. We want to keep the, the skin, the skin fade minimum. But I prefer going in with, with the, going to the term first. Because it shows me the shape. I want it to look natural, but also not too much of, of a blur, not too much of a fade. So I just want to say thanks to everyone that came out today, really appreciate it. I want to actually give a big thanks to Craig, Craig came all the way from Cape Town guys and I want to just give a, a big big shout out to him, he came all the way, amazing work, I don't know, you guys are probably going to see the cut for sure and quality straight through, um, I hope you guys learned a lot today, appreciate y'all taking all the time, most importantly thanks to Craig as well for taking the time out. Awesome 